This video is sponsored by Sightmark Optics. I'm a fan. I currently own six of their optics. They are rugged, they hold zero, and they are priced right. On uh, my Banshee, I have a Ultrashot M-Spec. It looks like an EOTech. It has the same reticle as an EOTech, but at a fraction of the cost. And I've been very happy with the performance of this optic on this firearm. And on my Ruger Max 9, I have a Sightmark Mini Shot A-Spec. From the time I sighted this in and every time afterwards, it's been dead nuts at the range. Clear glass, clear dot, always on. I think it's priced right, and it's been a very nice optic on the Ruger Max 9. Check them out at sightmark.com. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Today we have another Choose Only One video, and I'm basing this one off of the short that I did just recently with my most expensive handguns. I want you to choose only one. And then once you make the choice, I also want to know if you are willing to pay the price that that handgun costs, or are you not interested in expensive handguns at all? Are you more of a budget kind of guy or a moderate, you know, four to six hundred dollar guy? But these are my most expensive handguns. I love them all, and I want you to check it out and choose only one. This is my standard manufacturing. Color case hard 1911. Check that out. It is beautiful. No two color case hardened handguns or firearms in general will be the same. Just because of the process, you can see the splashes of bronze and gray and purple all throughout. It has wood grips, chambered in 45 by the way, seven round mags, and a phenomenal trigger. Non-skeletonized, you don't see too many of those anymore. But a beautiful trigger right around four pounds. Novak style, three dot sights. Nice looking handgun, nice shooting handgun. The wood grips I said I was going to change out, I haven't done that yet. I figure a G10 style would suit the color case hard really nice, but the wood grips are not bad. Diamond checkered. Love this handgun. I love the custom build type of handgun that it is. MSRP on this is $1,599. Would you go for the all-steel frame Beretta 92X Performance? This thing is such a nice handgun. 4.9 inch barrel, Brigadier slide, fiber optic front sight, serrated black adjustable rear sights, vertex style grip, a little thinner, a little more vertical, 15 round mags, has a rail right there, Beretta calls the serrations sawtooth. The MSRP on this is $1,600. And $29, that single action trigger pull is worth writing home about. And then the double action is really nice too. Breda 92X Performance. They said they made this for competition, but if you just love ring and steel or paper and you want an accurate handgun, this one is phenomenal. But you have to pay for it. it it's not cheap, but certainly is a fine shooter. Here is a double stack 1911 made by Springfield Armory called the DS Prodigy. It comes with 17 and 20 round mags. That's what this is. Once again, a 1911. Love it. Full rail right there. Forward serrations, a five inch bull barrel. You can pick this up with the Hex Dragonfly red dot or without with the red dot. This package here, you're looking at $1,699. It has a polymer wrap Grip, extended magazine release, fiber optic front sight, green, serrated black rear sight that is tall to co-witness with the red dot, and ambidextrous thumb safety, and a very nice trigger. Once again, right around four and a half to five pounds. Some people have reviewed and said they've had problems with this. I have not had one hang up with this DS Prodigy. I think it's phenomenal. I love the double stack, nine millimeter, 1911s, and this one is doing it for me. If you're a big bore kind of guy, you'll love this 50 Action Express Magnum Research Desert Eagle. I had this made from their custom shop and everything that I chose was built specifically for my order, and I love it. It's got titanium gold barrel and frame, a black slide, black grips with grooves. Okay, you need those grooves because this thing will hit you back a bit. Fiber optic rear sights that are adjustable, green fiber optic front sight, a rail up top, and the single action trigger on Desert Eagles are pretty phenomenal. You're looking at a four pound 
trigger pull. Ambidextrous thumb safety, but they don't even feature this on their site right now. I, I think they're having trouble getting the, the material that makes the titanium gold. But I remember it was around $2,500 before things got out of control. I have to believe it's right around $2,500 plus to get this custom built Desert Eagle. And it is a showpiece. Here is an original Colt Python. I love bringing this out and showing it off. This was built in 1994. And the originals were hand assembled, handcrafted, hand polished. This one here is in stainless steel. Now, when Colt came back with the Python and the King Cobra, people were wondering, will that increase or decrease the value of the originals? And it actually went up a little bit. I was surprised. So here we have a very expensive handgun. It, you have to sacrifice to get this. I will tell you, this one in stainless with a six inch vented barrel. And I said this one, they all have that. But the Chambering is 357 Magnum. It is a six shot, full underlug, orange insert, ramped up front sight, black rear sights, but that single action trigger is phenomenal. Like it's a hair trigger. And at the range, it is so nice. Now, what also increases the value are the original grips, which I have, but also the box and the paperwork. I don't have that. I wish I did because that really raises the overall value of the revolver but it's known to be one of the best and a lot of people have shot these back in the day they had no idea it would rise so much in value i am so happy to have an original 1994 Cole python thanks for checking out my most expensive handguns and i'm wondering which one you would choose if you had to choose only one if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.